Okay guys, I have a really strong message from Jesus. I have never been shook this hard in my life. Um, so I think he's definitely coming. Okay. May 20, 2023, I claim Jesus Christ as God. He's also the son of God who came to earth as a man in the flesh. He bled on the cross and died for our sins. And he rose on the third day. Ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people on um, YouTube because they're trying to scam you. All right, May 20, 2023, Colossians 1.11. Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. 1 Peter 2.11. Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Jeremiah 3.5. Will he remain angry forever? Will he keep it to the end? Behold, you have spoken and done evil things as you were able. John 4.8. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Matthew 24, 11. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. Revelation 19, 6. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude as the sound of many waters and the sounds of mighty thundering saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Job 38, 2. Who is this who darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Amos 4, 3. <clears throat> You will go out through broken walls, each one straight ahead of her, and you will be cast into harmon, says the Lord. First Thessalonians 2 9. For you remember, brethren, our labor and toil for laboring night and day, that we might not be a burden to any of you. We preach to you the gospel of God. Deuteronomy 2 8. <clears throat> And when we pass beyond our brethren, the descendants of Esau who dwell in Seir, away from the road of the plain, away from Elath and Ezion Geber, we turned pass away from the wilderness of Moab. Okay, guys, here's the message. My child, destruction is coming. Harpazo is coming. I am picking up my bride on May 22nd, 1853, Israel time. 1838 will foreshadow the events of my coming. I gave you signs in the heavens. 1838, guys, was a sickle in his hand. Um, and it matches the signs of the heavens. Because he gave it to me the other day in a video. Or I said it by accident. Um, I gave you warnings after warnings, yet you still deny me. You still reject me. Where is your faith? Where is your love? I told you to love one another, not condemn your brother and sister. The enemy's plan is in full motion. He will not stop until he has every soul. This is a chain. Are you testing the spirits? Are you attacking your neighbor? Did I tell you to judge? There is only one judge, the creator of heaven and earth. I am the only judge. How dare you attack my anointed ones? They are trying to wake you up. They are trying to save you. Chaos, destruction, famines, pestilence, earthquakes tenfold. Cities will be destroyed. China will invade America right after destruction. Germany gets taken down along with America. Australia will be on their own. They will dictate their own laws for a while. But then chaos and destruction will come for them next. The end is here and the end is now. I told you to get on the boat. My warnings are final. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I am your true Messiah. I died for you and shed my blood on the cross for you and rose on the third day so you may be saved. Where is your faith, child? I told you what is coming. Do you even know what black death is? It's going to be the abomination to your soul if you die before believing in me. Do you think I want this for my children? Do you think I'm going to condone this evil forever? <clears throat> Did I not destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Did I not flood the earth? Oh, you think my wrath is non-existent? I think your prayers are non-existent. I think your faith is non-existent. I see the doubt in your heart and it saddens me. I see you about to perish and it breaks my heart. I told you to confess I am Lord and believe in me with all of your heart and I will save you. I told you every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess I am Lord. 
you wicked child, you prowl around like a lion seeking whom you may devour. Did you come with correction and love to your brother and sister, or did you obliterate them and shame them publicly? Do you know how foolish you are going to look when the world goes up in smoke? My grace period is almost over and there is no more grace. I will come back like a lion and my judgment is going to fall on this world, but this is not my wish for you. This is my last resort. I have poured my spirit out on my chosen ones to give you a chance to repent and change your mind. I gave you many chances to believe in me, but instead of seeking me in prayer and worship and reading my word, you are wasting your time stalking and scoffing your neighbor. There is no fear if you are walking with me. I bring only peace to my chosen ones. I protect my chosen ones and my children. You have to have faith like a child if you want to enter my kingdom. The wedding feast is being prepared. There is no more delay. I gave you my seven day warning and the trumpets will sound. My lukewarm children and my worker bees, what did I die for? Why are you doubting that I died to save you? I told you the key to get to my kingdom. I told you the gate is very narrow. You think because you speak my name with your mouth and claim to be a believer, I can't really see what's in your heart. I see everything. I see you trying to destroy my people with your words. You insidious heathen, if you aren't believing in me, I will say I never knew you, you who practices idolatry. There is still gentleness and kindness in my heart for you. I told you I don't even want the wicked to perish. I want you to repent and believe in me. Bow down to me and worship me with all of your heart. If your heart is wicked and you believe in me, I will change it. I will give you a new heart of flesh and get rid of your heart of stone. I will renew your mind and take you to the altar and honor you as my bride. Your time is almost up. The clock is about to stop and reach the midnight hour. Then darkness will fall. The Harpazo's energy as I open up the heavens far and wide is going to create an electromagnetic impulse and gravity is going to pull this world apart. States will fall under map. States will fall under and map will sever. Tsunami will flood half the world. It's all coming, my child. Wake up and don't be casted out where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. I am your creator. I told you I would keep you from the hour of trial coming on this world. If you would just believe in me or seek death and see my wrath, but the time is almost up. I am your Lord God, your Messiah, and I have spoken. Then he gave me Jude 1, 5. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe. Habakkuk 2, 7. Will not your creditors rise up suddenly? Will they not awaken who oppress you and you will become their booty? Lamentations 1, 9. Her uncleanness in her skirt, she did not consider her destiny. Therefore, her collapse was awesome. She had no comforter. O Lord, behold my affliction, for the enemy is exalted. Ezekiel Ezekiel eleven three. Who say the time is near to build houses? The city is the cauldron, and we are the meat. Judges four three. And the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. For Jabin had 900 chariots of iron, and for 20 years he had harshly oppressed the children of Israel. Mark 14, 8. She has done what she could. She has come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. Luke 13, 3. I tell you no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Colossians 1, 4. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints. And then, <clears throat> let me see, I might have to do part, yeah, I'm going to have to do part two. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Guys, God is angry. He is so angry. I don't know what's going on out there because I haven't been on the internet. Uh, I've heard some things, but I haven't seen much because I've been busy <laughs> trying to get all these videos out. Um, but there's people out there, I guess, that's really making him really upset, guys. I have never seen Jesus shake me so hard in my life. I, it, it was so powerful. I, I had to take Tylenol afterwards. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I've never felt this before. He has to come, guys. There's no way. I mean, he gave the seven-day warning. He said the date and the time and the message. So if this doesn't happen, then, then I was deceived. That's all there is to it. That's what I believe. So 
it's, it's going to happen. Jesus is coming. He came. He came to my backyard. Guys, I got him on film. There's no joke. Please, please come to him and believe in him with all your heart and confess he's Lord. Lay down your idols and just love him and worship him, guys. It's all about your heart towards him and he will save you. Please, guys, the destruction that is coming no man has ever seen. Okay, guys, God bless. Stick around for part two.